Hi everyone, welcome to Text Builder YouTube channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe so you will not miss any upcoming tutorials and videos about Text Builder. So in today's video, we will see a tutorial about how to connect Text Builder with make.com. So let's get started. First of all, sign into your Text Builder account. Now in another tab, sign into your make.com account. Once you are inside make.com account, click create scenario once it loaded click here and search for webhooks remember there are two type of webhooks available one is webhooks and one is wp webhooks select webhooks for connecting with text builder and then select custom webhooks and then you can add a webhook you can give a name to this webhook uh, we will for this video we'll keep the the same name what is given by default and click save now you will see you already have a webhook link here click copy address to clipboard to copy this webhook now go back to your text builder account click connect and now paste the webhook link which you copied from make.com now give a name to this webhook you have to give a name so you can remember what type of connection you are uh, sending your data to. So once you give the name, click add new connection and the webhook is already connected with make.com. So now we will go back to our make.com account. Now we will add here our router. Um, it's like to control the flow of the data we will receive from text builder. So we will search flow. We have to select flow control. And now in this router, so we can route the data. So it will give you now two options. You can add any app here where you want to send the data. For this video, we will see how to connect it with Google Docs. Here it is. And then we will select that once we receive the data, create a new document. And from connection, select the drive where you want the data to go. Give a name. So once we save this settings, we will run it once. So it will receive the data once we send it from text builder and it will automatically create a document. So now we will go back to our text builder account. We'll go to the content we already have and which we want to send to make.com. I'll select this article. And from here, you have to select make.com tab. Click uh, this uh, drop down menu, select the connection which we created earlier and then select publish and click post so what will happen is that text builder will send the data to the webhook we created and since the webhook was running it has already created a document let's see if in the drive it is created so we can see here it is already created a new document and this is the article we have sent from text builder so the article name is Google One Review, and this is the article which we sent from Text Builder. So this is how you can create a connection with make.com from Text Builder. If you like the video, please thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss any upcoming tutorials. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support.